Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Matt and in today's episode we will create a bridge that allows the native code and the Flutter code to communicate. Click here to subscribe to be up to date and never miss our episodes. You can also visit our social media profiles like Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn where we post our regular updates and behind the scenes content. So, let's get started! Sometimes it may happen that we need to use extended functions supported only by the native language. It's in the case of Android, it's Java or Kotlin, and in the case of iOS, it's Swift or Objective-C. By using the bridge, we can create code into native languages and import them into our Flutter code. The first step is to create a new project using the standard Flutter create command and then open the project in Visual Studio. We will use the default Flutter code to connect to the current Android or iOS platform after clicking the plus button. And then we will display the value we will execute there in the Flutter code. To do that, in the Flutter code, we need to add the so-called invoke method. Then, go to the main activity file in the Android folder. By default, it will be a Kotlin file. But, if you want to write it in Java, just delay the Kotlin file and add the main activity.java file again. In this file, we will create a code using the method channel, which is the receiver from Flutter. In this query, we will download the system versions of Android and send them to Flutter. We will follow the same steps for iOS by navigating to the appdelegate.swift in iOS folder and like in Java, we will write the code using method channel with the current versions of iOS.
Done. We can now check on the Android and iOS emulator what answers we get after clicking the button. It works great! This is our introduction to creating powerful applications. With this function, you can take full advantage of the potential of the native language in Flutter code. If your code doesn't seem work properly, just go back and rewatch this video or drop me a question in the comments. The code of this app will be available at the GitHub, link in the description box below. So, you can cross-check your code. Remember to subscribe to our channel and tune in every Wednesday at 4 p.m. You can also visit our social media profiles like Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn, where we post regular updates and behind-the-scenes content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.